The Incredible Hulk Issue 1, which was published in May 1962, introduced the Hulk to the world. Stan Lee chose to design a monster who could also be a hero. He and Jack Kirby combined the Frankenstein tale with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, as well as a dash of Cold War paranoia. As a result, a scrawny weakling of a scientist grew into a super-strong hulking brute. This description also gave Lee the character's name. The Hulk. Dr. Bruce Banner, a frail scientist, created an experimental new G-bomb based on gamma radiation. Banner realized a team had entered the test location only moments before the device was supposed to ignite. Banner dashed out to warn the youngster, after instructing his helper Igor to halt the countdown. Igor turned out to be a Russian agent, and disregarded Banner's orders. Despite saving the youngster, Banner was hit by the full power of the gamma rays as the bomb exploded. As a result of this pollution, Banner mutated into the Hulk whenever night fell, and reverted back to human form with the rising sun. The Hulk was originally grey, but due to the limitations of color technology at the time, it was decided to utilize the more dependable and eventually iconic green. The first issue of The Incredible Hulk introduced General Thunderbolt Ross, who would later become the Red Hulk himself. His daughter Betty Ross was also introduced in this issue, and she would go on to be Banner's long-term lover, and later his wife. She has recently evolved into another Hulk, known as the Red She-Hulk. 